Hello everyone, my name is Professor Wilson Kamami and my YouTube channel is also called Professor Wilson Kamami. Uh, this is our second video on statistics of group data. As you can see, today we are going to look at more. The previous video we looked at the mean, uh, the, when you are, uh, even when you are using assumed mean. So how do we calculate the mode? The mode uh, for ungrouped data we did, all the videos of ungrouped data are there. But you realize for group data like this one, I have given you an example, the one, the previous example you have solved for me. You realize, how do we get the mode? Mode is the most occurring number. But in this case, it's, we have already grouped our data. So how are we going to get this mode? In this case, you realize that the formula of calculating mode, let me write it here. We are going to use it here. It is L plus, I like using change one, all over change one plus change two, all over i times i sorry for times i so what is l l is the lower class limit lower class limit and how are we going to get this lower class limit of model class model class so it is the lower class limit of our model class so in this case what we are going to do what is stage one Change one, I like saying it is the frequency of model class minus the frequency of the previous class. And then change two is the frequency of the model class minus the frequency of the class below or whatever, the way you can say. Uh, so in this case, and what is I is the class interval. Of what? Of our model class. So you realize F is the frequency. In this case here you realize that F is the frequency. But of what? Model class. But F naught is the frequency. But of the class above. The class. The previous class before the model class. And F1 is the frequency, but of the class below. I like using this simple term, even though they might not be correct, but for you to understand. So in this case, the first thing you need to do, we have given an example of this one. That's how we get the mode. But how do we get this mode? So we start by getting the model class. Model class. So which is the model class? It is the class that has the highest frequency. The class that has what? The class that has the highest frequency. Which is this class? In this class, you realize that 9 is the frequency. In this case, we have the frequency of 6, 7, 9, 13, and 5. So our frequency, where we are having highest frequency, is this one. Where we are having 9. That is the class. That is uh, the one between 30 to 39. So with this one, what is the class interval? Or the class limit? For this one, how I always train students on how to grade the class interval. Uh, or uh, the, the class limits and the like. So adjusted class. So you realize that if it was 10 to 19, 22, I always advise students to look at this one. What's the difference between 20 to 19, 19 to 20? You realize it is one. So how I, I, I always advocate on how to get this adjusted class. I'm going to show this one because uh, uh, on this one we don't have much to cover. So you realize it is 20 and 19. What's the difference? The difference is 1 over 2. So you will get it is 0 0.5. So what I'll be doing on this one, on the lower class and upper class, on the lower, I'll be subtracting 0 0.5. So on the lower, I'll be subtracting 0 0.5. And on upper, I'll be adding 0 0.5. So the class in this case, when I subtract 0 0.5, it will be 9.5 to 19.5. Because this one, I'll add 0 0.5. So again, here I subtract 0 0.5, it will be 19.5. 29.5 on this one 29 now this one will be 29.5 when i subtract 2 when i add 39.5 this one i subtract 0 0.5 so i'll be having 39.5 to 
249.5 and when it is 49.5 here it will be 49.5 because when I subtract here it will be 49.5 to 59.5 that's how we get adjusted class with the inter uh, you, you can see it is from the lower to upper so now I can go straight to my formula now now my formula says that mode now my mode will be L remember we are using this class we decided we are using this one the model class with the highest frequency so what is the lower class limit the lower class limit here it is 29.5 so it will be 29.5 plus what is change one change one we said it is the frequency here is nine i want to emphasize on that one it is nine minus the frequency of the previous or the class above so it is nine minus seven so it will be nine minus seven which is the same here nine minus seven plus change two change two now you are taking nine but you subtract of the the frequency of the class below or the class after the model class and the frequency there is three so it will be nine minus three and the interval everyone knows how we get the interval the interval is from here to here the lower to upper what is the difference here it is 10 because the 29.5 minus 29.5 is 10. And I want to emphasize on this one. When you are using interval, we are using when you have adjusted class. Because there are classes where you have 10 to 20, 20. In that case, the, the adjusted will remain the same. Because in that case, we are moving from 10, 20, 20 to 20. 20, that way. That one will remain the same. So in this case, that is the lower class limit, 29.5. The interval, the interval, how long am I the length of that? Class is from 29.5 to 99.5, which make it 10. So in this case, now we will have 29.5 plus this one, we are going to get 2. So it will be 2 plus uh, 9 minus 3 will be 6 times 10. And when you solve that one, you have 29.5 plus this will be 20 all over 8. Because numerator, denominator will be 8. Numerator, you can open 2 times 10. You have 20, that one. And that's how we are going to get now our mode. That's how we get the mode. I want to emphasize on how we get the lower class limit and the upper class limit. I have said, if you are moving from 19 here, we are going to 20. So what is the difference? The difference is 1. 20 minus 19. You get the difference is 1. So you get the average is over 2. So you will get it is 0 0.5. So when you get it is 0 0.5, so here you will be subtracting, here you will be adding. So 20 point, you minus, here you minus, here you minus, here you minus. But for this one, you'll be adding that 0 0.5, you'll be adding. Because I have seen a situation where maybe a class is uh, 21.7 to 21.9, then 22.0 to 20, maybe 22.2. .2. So with this one, what you do, I'm just, this is just by the way, you realize when you are moving from here to here, the difference will be now, uh, you realize the 22.0 minus 21.9. So the difference is 0 0.1. So this is the one that we are going to divide by 2. So we are going to get 0 0.05. So what you will be doing again, on this one you should be, be subtracting, here you will be adding. So this will be 21.65 to 21.95. So you will be subtracting 0 0.05 here. And here you'll be adding that one. So this one will be 21.95 to 22.25. And that's how we'll be getting the class. That was just by the way. So in this case now, that's how we get the mode. 29.5. So here 20, when you divide by 8, you are going to get what? I hope we are, we are going to get the correct answer, but you can check. Uh, this will be 2 times, then 2.5. I think it will be 2.5. And then when you get that one, because it will be 16, then 4 of 8, it will be 0 0.5. So it will be 2.5. So when you add this one now, we will get it is 32. So the mode is 32. So that's how we get the mode of group data. It is as simple as that. The formula is that lower class limit of what? Model class. So the first thing you need to know which class are you going to use. And that is the model class, the one with the highest frequency. So, thank you everyone. That's how we calculate the mode. Uh, on our next video, we are going to show how we get um, standard division and variance. And then from there, we shall look at median. Median, I want to cover it because we shall look at 
quarters, a percentile, that's another video of a median because the formula is almost the same. So welcome. This is our second video on mod. So our third video for group data, uh, we shall look at standard deviation and variance where I always combine as one video. So thank you. Continue watching. And uh, for here is where we simplify mathematics together. Thank you.